Did you know that in 2019, 35.22 million Americans reported to having consumed 16 bags or more of potato chips? Or that days before a major snowstorm hit in Canada, the first aisle to be completely empty was none other than the chips? There's no mistake that the world loves their crispy, salty, and highly addictive potatoes in a bag. But what if all you ate was this and nothing else? We're talking about sour cream and onion for breakfast, barbecue for lunch, salt and vinegar for dinner. Well, Brainiacs, if you keep those nutritional habits up for years, you may go blind or worse. In today's video, we talk about chips and the world's favorite way to consume them with two hands straight out of a bag. Plus, we investigate two cases in which a potato chip habit lured two teenage boys into a doctor's office, but only one came out alive. But before we get into it, where did potato chips come from in the first place? Well, the story goes that in 1852, George Crew, a chef at the Moon's Lake House restaurant in Saratoga Springs, New York, had an unsatisfied customer who claimed Crew served soggy french fries. After dish was sent back to the kitchen, Crew finally cut paper-thin potatoes, fried them, and served them to the fussy customer. And the rest, as they say, is history. These days, we don't have to upset a grumpy chef to get our hands on some of these bad boys. Original Lay's, the most popular chip brand and flavor, are readily available everywhere. And it's a good thing, too, because they happen to be a great source of vitamin C. But unfortunately, the health benefits stop right there. Fried potatoes, such as fries or chips, are really not a good source of minerals, nutrients, or vitamins, like at all. Notably, there are no traces of vitamin A, B12, calcium, or omega-3s. Not to mention, chips contain a great deal of sodium and trans fats. Unsurprisingly, researchers have discovered a relationship between cereal chip eaters and a number of health problems, including increased blood pressure, stroke, heart, liver, and kidney failure. But don't let us be the sole bearer of bad news. Take the British 17-year-old known as DA in the medical world who ate a diet exclusively of potato chips, french fries, white bread, and on occasion, a slice of ham to round things out. Claiming to be a fussy eater, you think, the teenager did not diversify his diet to fruits and vegetables because he enjoyed nothing other than these beige foods. After about 10 years of this diet, the boy reported to a doctor that his field of vision had started to go dark. He was officially diagnosed with anemia and a vitamin deficiency. It got so bad that the boy started to lose minerals from his bones, which was shocking to doctors for a boy his age. Luckily for DA, he did not go completely blind, just legally blind. Hooray! Because he's retained his peripheral vision, he manages to get around, but doctors have concluded he will never be able to drive. Yikes. And then there's the 20-year-old male who went to the doctor's office with flu-like symptoms. He also reported an uncolorful diet of, you guessed it, chips. The young man reported chronic fatigue, to which the doctor diagnosed him of cirrhosis of the liver, which is a fancy medical way of saying his organ was completely shot. As a result, he developed autoimmune hepatitis and passed away at just 20 years old. Our research shows that the young man did not eat only chips before he died, but it was the majority of his daily diet. Part of the reason why we see two young men suffering serious health problems due to this staple junk food could have to do with their addictive nature. An experiment done with mice found that an only chip diet taps into the reward system of the brain, which encourages us to eat more and more chips. Other researchers have found that chips trigger and release the dopamine in our brain, which controls our pleasure center. So if you take into consideration these studies, as well as its salty and crunchy goodness, there's no surprise that chips are wild addictive. So whether you call them crisps, yes, we're looking at you posh British folks, or chips, there's no mistaking that this junk food staple makes the world go round. But it wasn't always this way. Yeah, we have a potato chip fun fact coming your way, open wide. When the US entered the Second World War, potato chips were officially declared a non-essential food, so production was put on halt immediately. But crowd protests convinced the War Production Board to back down. And thanks to these potato chip loving patriots, this staple junk food was able to be sold in stores across the country and still is to this day. God bless America. So whether or not you're a chip diehard lover, we would recommend for good measure, just for kicks, to maintain a healthy and balanced diet, preferably with other colored foods. And no, green spinach flavored chips don't count. Until next time, Brainiacs.